Maybe we can uh, maybe we can rename it to Oz if he wins here. <laughs> Color everything green. Frost Oz. The Emerald City. The Frost the Frost Oz edition. Maybe we put a tornado in the corner. All right, Kev, up in the top left-hand corner of Frost, the red Zerg player, representing uh, Team Acer. I keep wanting to say Axiom Acer. That's not necessarily untrue. Kind of. Is he represented? Represented yep. Axiom Acer. It is Scarlet. <laughs> and she is still very close with uh, the Axiom guys as mm -hmm. well. Up in the top right-hand corner, Scarlet's opponent, the blue Protoss player representing the Evil Geniuses, just took out Nest T. Can he upset another powerful Zerg player? It is Oz. Hmm. We saw Oz's teammate yesterday already advance to the WCS Premier League round of eight, and then I'm of course talking about Jay Dong. Surprisingly, one of his other teammates that performed so well in season one and two alive was not able to make it to the round of 16 this time. And unfortunately, the Muslim was not able to make it to the round of 16 either, nor was Soppy. So you could say that Oz is—is uh, is he the last evil He's player? He's the last evil genius. At least that uh, we're going to see until Saturday. Other than Jadong. Yeah, because Jadong already is. Yeah. But last season we had like five of them. <laughs> last season was like the easy team league, with a few. Uh, uh, Alive didn't make it this time. No. And Soppy neither. But I think we had one more. Uh, Revival didn't make it either. Mm. This time. Or did he? No. There's no revival here. So that's three lips. Alex Garfield is disappointed. <laughs> oh, but we do have Hawk, so that's plus one. Ah, I'm almost forgetting Hawk. What are we Hawk, doing? Yeah. Forgetting about know. Hawk. <laughs> uh, so Scarlet has gone hatch first here, Cap. Yep. And uh, we see Oz on the other side of the map going Nexus first as well. Did he Scott? Oh, so. Wow, Oz is switching it up. He's just against Nesty. It's just like the, you can really see that Oz is not a player that plays the same against every single player. Against Nesty, he's worried about shenanigans. He doesn't really know what to expect. He knows Scarlet probably a lot better and just knows that she is not the type of player that goes a whole lot of early pulls or any kind of crazy all ins. Yep. One of the things that I do uh, have learned, or what I have learned from uh, Maxet versus Ghost User, is that it's kind of easy on this map to defend some crazy all-ins because your mothership core will cover so much of these buildings that roaches can't even poke away at this without being shot from uh, from the nexus. Yeah, that, uh, that nexus is tucked way back in there. Scarlet already dropping the third hatchery. Has Scarlet scouted yet? No, just the overlords. So blindly getting a very fast three base? Not afraid, which is crazy to think about since Oz was uh, so all inish and aggressive uh, last time they played against each other. But that was also online, and I can imagine that Oz is the type of player that would play a little bit different online from Korea, playing on the American server, than he would do offline. Offline, he's probably a lot more confident. Of course, has a lot of practice under his belt in the last year. And I think ever since uh, Oz joined EG, we really saw kind of just a new Oz. He refound himself. Yeah. Certainly, while uh, under the leadership of Coach Park, we mm -hmm. saw him grow quite a bit. And yeah, I mean, the second place at IM Shanghai, which is only two and a half to three months ago, I think it's safe to say was the best result that Oz has ever had. He lost in the final against Revival. Um, I think it was a, a 4 0 even. It could have been 4 2, but I'm pretty sure it was 4 0. So that wasn't really. Yeah, it was 4 0. Um, but you know, that's a long time ago. Maybe since then he's worked a lot on his PVC. Scarlet's Overlord has confirmed Oz's position. These Lings have also caught this probe as uh, Oz is going to get his first look into Scarlet's base. Hmm, and this is the very first scout. It's kind of crazy to think about five minutes and 40 seconds in the game when in the other games he was so uh, you know, persistent with mm -hmm. his scouting. Down goes the probe. Doesn't see a whole lot. Quick robo, man. The, ro the Roddy build's still an option. Could be. There are a lot of Roddy builds these days. But most of them are off two bases. Scarlet's droning hard, Cap, seven drones at a time. She's going to go ahead and pass Oz in the worker count about six minutes, 15 seconds into this game. She's already. You know, normally, if, uh, if it's a Zerg, you pass the Protoss around 6.45, seven minutes. You're quite pleased with that. If you do it earlier than that, it's a nice little bonus. Extractors also being added. That is the normal timing for that. And uh, not too much else going on? There's an immortal being built. There's uh, an upgrade spinning on that forge, which yeah, makes me one. wonder. I think we might just see seven gates go down. Could it be the soul train? Uh, a variation of it. Might even be a little quicker. Up it's to four gates. 
11 drones on the way right now for Scarlet. It's really important that Scarlet is going to start producing units soon. This Overlord Scout is fantastic, oh, though, by Scarlet. could be huge. And it's coming at the time that it, you know, it's not going to see the Immortal. But it does see the All extra right. gates. It does see the working robotics. Taking a look at the work account, 42, Ben. And 42 is a magic number for two base all in. Scarlet's yeah. making so many drones. Layer is very late. So this is something that we definitely have to take into consideration. This is an extremely late layer. 7 minutes and 30 seconds. 61 drones already. It's time for a lot of roaches and a lot of links. She doesn't have a roach one, though, does she? No. Uh, she, uh, in fact, she's going uh, looks like circling links. only. Oh and my. Kevin, I don't know if this is going to work out for Scarlet. I think she might have overdone it just a little bit. She's making six overlords now at once. She was supply blocked for a little bit. How much larvae does... Okay, there's basically 24 links. But that's not enough. She needs way more than that. It's not enough by itself. Now, if Scarlet can buy time counterattacking and poking and being annoying, then, then maybe... Uh, it's only 8 minutes, 20 seconds. I expected us to already run out immediately, try to get those pylons out, and just, like, start warping in the moment mm. your warp prism is on the other side of the map. He waited a little longer. He waited for the third immortal. He is still... This is basically a soul train, as you mentioned, and he's leaving the base at 8 minutes and 40 seconds. That's damn early. Like, normally, if you leave around the 9-minute mark, you're satisfied yep. and pleased with yourself. More importantly, Scarlet hasn't seen him leave the base. This, uh, uh, she definitely knows. She definitely knows. She's proxying a spire, which is interesting. And I, I, we've seen this many times. This counterattack is going to be really important. But uh, she doesn't have uh, plus one. Now she doesn't have that yet either. Mm. She's going to force defensive warp pins, but this could definitely backfire too. One pylon is going to go down, but the wall is not open yet. The Ling's working on this wall. Can he? no Scarlet is not going to break through. Uh, so the Lings have oh been my. pulled back. They're going to try to retreat back home to see if they can do some defending. Spire is still Where only is halfway that prism? done. Uh, also is going to need a lot of Zealots soon, though, even though he has a couple of forces to rely on. Immortals are going to be fantastic against these spine crawlers, but Oz needs a lot of Zealots soon. Oh, Scarlet, i got to be so careful with those Zerglings. They are your life force right now. 57 links, and that sounds many, but you'd be surprised how quick they die against a lot of force shields and a lot of Zealots. Spire's also finishing. There's not much Larva, though, and Scarlet does not look like she's injecting very well. With 10 Mudas if she picks up the War Prism. There's no Larva for it. There's only three Larva. Hmm. This hatchery is going to get focused down. Going to pick up these pilots. Uh, Oz is going to retreat. Oz must know something is up right now. He's just wondering, like, why, where are... Where is something they have to be very scared of, other than those Zerglings? Now, three Mutas just started. That three Mutas is not enough, but it's the Stalker Warp in now, so you're right, Oz is on to it. Zerglings being force-fielded out. Spinecrawler's trying to buy Scarlet the time she needs. It's ten Mutas in the production tab. I just don't think it's going to be in time. Ling's finally breaking through the force fields. A couple Stalkers going to fall. She has to pick up the pylons. The only hope, I, I think, is maybe sniping the Warp Prism, even though it will be hard to snipe this Warp Prism above all these sentries, all these Stalkers, but I think that's that's truly the only way that she's going to be able to make it happen, and even that is going to be... Uh, she's not picking up no, the pilot, she's gonna, so... She's going to base race. Mm. Uh, drones being sent to the bottom right-hand corners, Zerglings and Mutas being sent across. So uh, we see these Lings working on the wall, but ag again, it's just not happening. Mutas making their way up into the main base. There are Stalkers there waiting. None of this is going to work out, Kevin. This is, uh, this is a... This is a pretty good defense for Oz thus far. Muta's continuing to try and work, but they just can't find openings. Uh, meanwhile, Oz is picking off every single thing in Scarlet's main base. Uh, as you mentioned as well, he had enough gateways and enough stalkers to wipe in, in his own base that he didn't really have to worry about that. I think Scarlet's only small chance was picking off the pylons with the links and trying to just right-click on the prism, but uh, yeah, in all honesty, I'm not even sure if that would have made a difference because all these mutas would have died so quick below the sentries and the stalkers. And then Oz could have still walked up to the main base and force filled out uh, all the links for a while and still pick off everything in the main. Uh, I think Scarlet just played a little bit too greedy this yeah, game. Yeah, I'm trying to, in my mind, come up with a way that Scarlet can do this. I just... There's not one man. Army supply shows us 76 against 32. Yep. Uh, the, the one thing Scarlet has is this spire down in the bottom left. So I, I guess in theory, if she could get a bunch of extra gas and produce more mutas, then maybe. But uh, that's just not a real likely outcome. The problem as well is that ten. Oz has so many sentries that he can hallucinate so many phoenixes that it's going to be very easy for him to scout all over the place. And it's inevitable that he is going to find Scarlet's hidden bases. Well, maybe it's not that inevitable. But <laughs> I think in the near future, Ben. Yep, one of them will be... Spotted, right? <laughs> right, right. He sees the edge. Uh, of the he sees the creep. Creep, right? Yeah. So that's enough. 
Mutas can't really get anything done. Stalkers are uh, uh, acting as a, a good, strong Muta repellent. Mm, Scarlet is remaking her spawning pool, um, but she just doesn't have any life to work with. If she were able to get like 50 links out on the map right now and then fly into this army with her Mutas and the links, but you know, that's just not the case. We have 19 links on the map and 10 Muta lists. That's just not enough. Yep. 19 drones against 47 oh, This is a good probes. engagement. Picked up three sentries. Four, maybe? But he lost two or three Munas in the process as well. Three. Hmm, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Probably... I mean, a 70 army supply lead, plus two on the way. Yes. Blink is about to get done. And the moment Blink is done, Oz can leave his main, and he knows it, and then he's just going to snipe bases. Scarlet probably just contemplating what she's going to do yeah. in, in game number two at this point. Cause, uh, uh, I mean, as long as there is, you know, as long as you have mining bases, there's a little bit of hope. And she's hoping for that moment where she's able to find a small Protoss army out of position. But this, even this Protoss army, I think, is too strong. Stalkers will focus down Mutas. Zerglings will not do much damage. And the As last Blink of, finishes up. Last of Scarlet's fighting strength will be diminished. Good game gets called.